What is up you guys, it is Native 2001 here and we are going to jump right back into part 2 of episode 2 of the second game in the Life is Strange series before the storm. So we're just going to jump right back in. She's waiting for, uh, I don't know if she was waiting for Frank? I don't remember. Anyway, we're just going to jump right back in exactly from where we left off. Time for a hard-earned smoke break. The inaugural truck tag. You only get one chance to make a first expression. Mystical. The eye sees all. Hmm. Tell me if we're ever really getting out of Arcadia Bay, all-seeing eye. Does your truck look like an aquarium on wheels? <laughs> didn't think so. Does Principal Wells eat pizza with a fork and knife? I knew there was something off about that guy. That's funny. What do we have here? Most people probably wouldn't wear a beanie they found in a junkyard. Sucks for most people. Yep. This'll do. Okay, I'm looking around still, sorry. Fixing the truck was hard work. Time to kick back and light up when I'm done looking around. This is beautiful. And this song is gorgeous too. Seriously, I do recommend looking up the soundtrack of this. I don't know if it's on Spotify, but if it is, dude, I'm about to make a playlist. Because these are so good. I love all the songs. Is she about to fall asleep? Same. That was me all day today. I'm not even joking. Alright, so, no, uh, was she, was she waiting on Frank and Rachel? I believe it was originally Rachel, but then Frank was like, yo. Oh, I'm in a dream. I'm in a dream, this can't end well. Shit. I slept all day. Well, what the hell? Dad?
Do I even like marshmallows? What kind of question is that? Do I feel like roasting a marshmallow? Also, what kind of question is that? I wonder if it burned like this the day... the day it happened. I miss him so much. Dad? What are we doing here? Huh. What in the world? Amazing, isn't it? I can't look away. Sure. Don't pretend you're not mesmerized too. See? You're so drawn to it, you don't even realize the danger. Danger? Fire blinds us, just like darkness. But darkness blinds with absence, with loss. What does fire blind with? Beauty. But sometimes, there's a greater beauty yet to come. Incredible. Fire is jealous, Chloe. It wants all the beauty for itself. That's why you need to be careful. Careful of what? <laughs> of getting burned. Yo, what is that? What just happened? That was terrifying. I could not imagine having a dream like that. I'd probably wake up screaming and crying and I'd probably never go to sleep again if I could help it or if I could help it. That's crazy. Hasn't anyone ever told you not to fall asleep with a lit cigarette? You could start a fire. So, are you gonna invite me in? Or what? I love giving rides to strange drifters. Hop in. <laughs> Thanks. Damn, you've been busy. It's nothing. Just some junk I found lying around. A uh, pirate flag? A freaky red light? Holy shit. 
the all-seeing eye. <laughs> Figured it can't hurt to have the Illuminati on our side for whenever shit goes down. Always thinking ahead. Chloe, this is incredible. I, I can't believe you found us an escape vehicle already. <sighs> That's the hope. But it doesn't exactly drive yet. You'll figure it out. And while you're at it, we're also gonna need some money. <laughs> you know, to buy stuff. Uh-huh. Car and money? <laughs> Anything else you'd like? Luckily, there's no rush. True. And no Blackwell. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> that Wells meeting. I'm so sorry. I can't believe he actually expelled you. <laughs> Why not? No reason to prolong the inevitable. It's definitely Blackwell's loss. You covering for me was amazing. I don't know how to thank you. <sighs> Whatever. You tried to cover for me too. Tried and failed. <laughs> I guess we know who the better liar is. Or maybe my lie was the one he wanted to believe. At least Wells has no idea what really went down with us last night. Shit got pretty wild. Rachel, that was more than pretty wild. You went absolutely nuts last night. What the hell were you thinking? I was angry. I didn't expect the whole stupid park to go whoosh. But now you're in on it too. Accessory after the fact. Unless you tell on me, of course. I'm no snitch. <laughs> I'd be way happier going to jail than having to live at home with Dick Tater David. He announced his plans to move in this morning. Oh, Chloe, that's awful. I'm so sorry. You know what we both could use? <laughs> Therapy. Therapy. You start. Kick back and tell me what's bothering you. Well, Doc. There's this dildo with a mustache who's been dating my mom, and now he thinks... <sighs> He's moving in with us. How do I stop him? Hmm. That's a hard one. I'm not sure there's really anything you can do. Then what the hell am I talking to you for? Just because you can't stop him doesn't mean you don't fight back. The resistance begins now. Alright. You're going to need a new nickname to mark your enemy. What have you got? He's a uh, step douche because he's inserting himself where he doesn't belong. Also, he's a douche. Poetic. May I also suggest step ladder? Why step ladder? Because he climbs on your mom every night. Ew! And pretty soon they'll be stepping down the aisle. What the hell kind of therapist are you? Sorry. It's called shock therapy. Highly controversial. So, my new friend, who everyone thinks is perfect, did something batshit fucking nutso last night. What do I do? This perfect friend of yours, who I'm assuming is also an exceptional beauty, sounds like she may have been inspired by someone new in her life. Someone who is also, may I add, a knockout in the looks department. Perhaps this friend of yours, who, I reiterate, must be just stunning, needed someone in her life to teach her. How to steal wine from yuppie picnickers? How not to give a fuck. Because she was tired of having to give so many fucks all the time. That makes sense. I've been booted from school, and I'm not entirely sure what to do about it. You mean how to cope with your feelings of anger and disappointment? No. I mean how to express my feelings of intense joy. Uh-huh. Do you think you might be taking this a little too well? You tell me. 
I'd say I'm exceptionally well-adjusted. I'd bet my therapist's license that no one's ever called you that before. <laughs> Touché, Doc. That was actually somewhat therapeutic. Thank you. It's always a pleasure delving into the mind of Chloe Price. And now it's your turn. Tell me all about what it's like being daughter of Arcadia Bay's most famous scumbag. It sucks. Too blunt? Sorry. I do that sometimes. Nah, I'm just... Ugh, I don't know. Can we talk about something else? Of course. I kind of fixed the truck a bit. That might mean I have life skills, something I've really tried to avoid. Upshot, I'm closer to becoming a car thief. That's pretty badass. Awkward silence. Sorry that I don't talk much during these games. I just get so engrossed. There's a point when you've been acting so much that you don't even have your own personality anymore. You're just whatever you think other people want you to be. I think you have a personality. I wasn't talking about me. My dad doesn't really exist. You saw him in Wells' office. The whole thing is a performance. And now I'm starting to feel like Everything in my life is bullshit. But he's still my dad. How can I make sure I don't end up like him? You just need someone around who likes you for who you are and isn't afraid to call bullshit when needed. Let me know if you find any candidates for the job. Shit. It's time for the play. As if my life didn't have enough drama in it. Good luck. You know you're never supposed to tell an actor good luck before a show? It's bad luck. How is telling someone good luck bad luck? You're supposed to say, break a leg. That's dumb. Hey, I, I was thinking that after the show, maybe we could go do something. Just you and me. Something criminal? Criminally fun. <laughs> I'm in. Wait, you forgot your bag. It's for you. Just a little survival kit for your new life on the lamb. Drive safe, Chloe. So how did she get here? Did she drive? <laughs> Or did she walk? I wonder what's in that bag. Oh. But now it's Hello, playing the radio. Junk shack. Heck yeah. Alrighty. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Time to check out Rachel Amber's mystery bag. All right, so Mikey messaged me. What did old boy say? I heard you got expelled. Sorry, yeah, I rolled a one against Wells. Well, get it? Steph says you're a nerd. Let's let's see what's up in this bag, yo. A bag full of clothes. Yes, I need those. Okay, let me turn off the radio, sorry. Wait. That was weird. <laughs> Nothing like an abandoned shack in the middle of a junkyard to make a girl feel like exploring a new wardrobe. Raven hair. I kind of like that one, honestly. Yeah, 
yeah, it's definitely more her style. I like it, I like it. Oh no! I clicked change. I didn't mean to do that. Yes, I wanted that. Sorry. Frank. I'm at the junkyard now. Alrighty, let me look at some of the stuff here really quick. That's kind of cool, actually. It's time to talk about the elephant in the room. This elephant fucking rules. Uh... Anything else that I can mess with? Okay, I'm gonna say no. Yeah, let's leave. Let's see Frank. What does he need from us today? Who's That's that? That's the woman we saw with Rachel's dad. Oh. the secret password man is the password drugs Christ get your ass in here that was an abrupt loading screen okay so that's weird why was the lady with Frank is oh so we know from the other <laughs> wait sorry dude it smells like piss in here. So we know from the other game that... Spoilers for you guys that have not played or seen the other game. That Rachel and Frank are involved. Like they end up getting together. But maybe it's through this chain of events. With like him knowing the woman that is cheat... Or help making her dad cheat. <laughs> that was complicated. Maybe it's through the set of events that they meet and that they become... Partners, I guess you could say. Shut up. You have a rough night or something? Every night's a rough night. I've got a notebook in the back somewhere. Go get it for me, would you? Who is that woman? Ah! Ah! God. Jeez, man. Get my notebook, Price. Then we'll talk. Now I'm fetching things for Frank. How low can I go? All right, got a new text message from Justin. All right. Dude, I heard you got expelled bad news. You mean good news? I'm stoked. Word, if you want to blaze with me and Trev, let me know. Thanks. A betting slip. $1,200? Way out of my league. It's always hard to tell what Frank's thinking. Fight the power. So Frank's a fellow survivor of Black Hell. Who knew? Wonder what Frank eats when he gets the munchies. It's all beans. Frank and beans. That's an insane amount of beans. <laughs> oh my god. Bomb okay. sauce. For the man who enjoys searing pay with his drive through order. <laughs> what does Frank really need to remember? Beer, TP, milk. Work. Got it. Haha. <laughs> That's nice. Chloe's droogs. I don't know why she spelled it like that. Apparently, Frank is a werewolf. 
Interesting. I guess Frank subscribes to the hiding in plain sight philosophy of drug stashing. I'm not going to take it. Part of a balanced breakfast. Do I really want to see Frank's bedroom? But the answer is yes. Papa do. Get up here. Papa do. You little killer. That is literally insane. Elliot. Tempest is going to be awesome, like awesomely bad, I mean. It's going to be hilarious. Hey, don't worry about being expelled, okay? Dude, I'm fine. Huh. That's crazy. Pompidou is so small. Wow. That pillow is definitely dead. Frank and his BFF. That's adorable. A throne fit for Frank. Someone's a messy eater. See, because we found in that vent, like, all of his stuff with Rachel Amber. Frank's knife. No, wow. I didn't want to look at that. That pillow is... That's what I want to look at. A swingy, flippy instrument of death. That's probably the notebook Frank wants. Is this what I think it is? Ugh. Shit. I'm in the red. Stella Drew Jackson. Time to find out what Frank wants to discuss. Is this it? Have a seat. Pompadou, huh? That's one badass name for a dog. It's French. Does it mean, like, tough guy or something? Do I look like I speak fucking French? <laughs> okay, so, who was that woman? What woman? The one I saw coming out of your RV. Oh yeah, I meant to introduce you. Her name is Mind Your Own Fucking Business. <sighs> Rachel would want to know more. I bet I can convince Frank it's harmless to tell me. Dude, I'm just curious. What's the big deal? Idiot. I make money by being discreet. Frank, you know I hate everyone. Who do you think I'm gonna tell? Come on, Price. I gotta protect my clients. Happy customers are the foundation of a good business. People feel flattered when you give them inside info. If you want happy customers, tell them all your secrets. Sure, I guess. So why are you so hung up on this chick? Come on, Frank. This is Arcadia Bay. Gossip is all we have to keep us from hanging ourselves out of boredom. I don't know. Frank. Talk, and I'll get my mom to make you something special. Like what? Uh... How about that firehouse chili of hers? You... You got it. The woman you saw. Her name's Sarah. Showed up a few weeks ago. Causing all kinds of trouble for all sorts of people. Like who? It's a little out of your league, okay? But what kind of trouble, exactly? Forget about it, Chloe. Shouldn't have opened my mouth. Thanks All right, so now we have a name. For telling me. Whatever. Now we just need to know. Down. 
Shit. Really? Crazy. My friend Damon runs the place. He lost a lot of money last night. How about you? Did you lose anything in the fire? No. But I'll probably get pulled into whatever shit Damon's dealing with right now. Lately, he's been doing some stuff that I don't like. But I don't seem to have much leverage with him like I once had. Anyway, you and I have shit to discuss. Is this about the buck 75? What? The money that I owe you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I don't give a shit about that. Wait, do you have it? Give me like another week. I don't have enough right now. I wonder if I'll ever get tired of your crap. I mean, that cash you stole at the mill should cover it, no? You saw that? It was ten feet away, dumbass. Well? You said you didn't give a shit. I do now. <sighs> Whatever, Frank. I need the money more than you do. You're lucky you're the least of my problems. Open my notebook. Last page. Should be some entries for a kid named Drew. You know him? <laughs> Drew North? Yeah, he's... Oh, holy shit. That's a lot of money. Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Apparently football players eat it like candy. That's smart, I guess. It pays well? Go Bigfoots. Problem is, Drew owes a grant, and he's not answering my calls. You know what's going on with him? Uh, he's an unreliable douchebag. Nah, this is the first time he's done this. Kid's actually smart. Anyway, here's the job. I'm taking you to Blackwell. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Can you handle that? Yeah, of course, but what's in it for me? Idiot, you still owe me. So, if I do this, then we're good? That, and I'll do even better. I'll give you a 10% cut of the money. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll do it. What's the matter? It might be a little tough. I, I'm not supposed to be at Blackwell. I got expelled this morning. Congratulations. Still easier for you to go on campus than for me. If you can't even do this price... A hundred dollars closer to leaving Arcadia Bay. With a bit of cash and the truck fixed, Rachel and I could really do it. We could leave for good. I'll do it. Good deal. Alrighty, I know this has actually been a really short episode. It seems like it's far, like far shorter than the other one. I believe it's about half the length of the other one that I did already. Um, I'm actually going to cut this one short because I am actually about to go somewhere. So I do apologize. But if you liked it, make sure you leave a like on the video. I know not much happened, but it is interesting to know that Drew, of all guys, the freaking... I don't even know. Was he the quarterback of the football team or was he just defense? I don't exactly know. But either way, he's... I don't know if he's doing Oxy or just selling it, but... It's very interesting to find out, especially because he's working with Frank of all people, which does not seem like the football type. Well, he's working with that Damon guy that Frank's friends with or was friends with. I don't exactly know, but it's really, really interesting that it seems like everyone's wrapped up in the drug, the drug scene, I guess. I don't know. But make sure you leave a comment on this video and let me know what you think is going to happen next. Maybe you'll predict it. Maybe you'll be way off. Who knows? But make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can find out because I post every single day except for Fridays and Sundays. I will leave you to have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. I always mess that up for some reason. Anyway, guys, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.